this is getting more and more exciting, these formations of UFOs and huge spacecrafts moving freely through space and close to the International Space Station. You can clearly see the structure and shape of some of these large alien ships. Why are these alleged alien spaceships getting closer and closer to our planet? Why is a global pandemic going on on Earth right now? Is the global elite hiding from us something big that is related to the presence of alien spaceships? In addition to these large groups of UFOs, or huge alien spaceships, anomalies continue to occur and all come from the same direction. This means that we have something big in our heads, but the impotence of not receiving news from the space agencies makes us worry more every day and then we ask. Why? We can imagine where they come from and what the purpose of their arrival could be. They can be here not only to witness humanity fighting against what is happening today, but to see if we can avoid a possible extinction event. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness, not light. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. So let the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it. Isaiah 63 Who is this that cometh from Edom, with dyed garments from Bozrah? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine vat? I had trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is gone, and I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury, it upheld me. And I will tread down the people in mine anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. The federal government is being increasingly open about its decades-long investigation of UFOs. They've spent millions of dollars and officials admit now they've seen many things they don't understand. What if all of us in the world discovered that we were threatened by an outer a power from outer space, from another planet? Wouldn't we all of a sudden find that we didn't have any differences between us at all? We were all human beings, citizens of the world, and wouldn't we come together to fight that particular threat?
see the light, it's like a star now. It's shining. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty.